Hello humans, I am the Black Cat and welcome to Movie Review Monday. This week I review Bird Box. Bird Box is an American movie that was released in 2018, directed by Suzanne Bier and starring Sandra Bullock, Trevent Rhodes, I'm probably mispronouncing these names, and John Malkovich. Bird Box can pretty much be described as a typical textbook cliche apocalypse movie. Think Cloverfield, 2012, The Happening, Night of the Living Dead, Dawn of the Dead, pretty much any zombie apocalypse movie. The difference being that this movie doesn't have zombies. Instead, it's unseen monsters that when you look at them, it shows you your worst fear or biggest regrets, and basically makes people kill themselves. Charlie, a character from the movie, explains that he believes that this is the human extinction event, that inevitably the human race will be wiped out, and basically that's what's happening. The end game. Humanity has been judged and we've been found wanting. So Sandra Bullock's character, Mallory, who is heavily pregnant, is caught outside in the middle of the outbreak when her sister is taken by the effects of the monsters, and she is saved by some people who are holding up in a nearby house. The majority of the movie takes place in the house with cutting back and forth to the present day, five years later, where Mallory is alone with two kids travelling up a river to find a sanctuary that's run by a guy called Rick. Bird Box is not just about survival, it's also about motherhood. Mallory is pregnant with her first child and she talks about how she's not sure if she'll be able to connect with her baby. It's different with the baby. It's an immediate love affair. It's not going to be that way for me. The theme of motherhood and Mallory's conflict with it runs through the whole movie. When she's left to protect these kids by herself, the question becomes will she protect them as a mother would, or would she sacrifice them in order to save herself? So the catch is that they can't look at the monsters, because they will then be affected by them and want to kill themselves, hence the reason for using blindfolds, which basically spawned a bunch of stupid challenges on YouTube prompting Netflix to make a statement telling people to stop being stupid. But anyway, back to the movie. So they use blindfolds so they can't look at the monsters. But the monsters kind of let their presence known before people look at them and the people turn around and look. Like, couldn't they just choose not to look? And yeah, blindfolds on kids would make sense because kids have no impulse control. But even the male lead, Tom, was doing fine until he heard the monster coming and turned around to look at it. Couldn't they just choose to close their eyes when they hear the monster coming? I mean, we have eyelids, people. <laughs> Visually, this movie is very well shot. It had a lot of nice scenes, especially the river scenes, where there was a lot of aerial shots of the river. It would have been difficult to film a monster movie without showing the monster. In order to counter this, they focused on the person's eyes changing as they were looking at the monster. So it still worked in the viewer's mind that they're looking at something. The majority of the effects was used to show people killing themselves. They mostly used CGI, but it was used in an effective way. It didn't look cheesy or out of place and was used in scenes that would have been impossible to use practical effects. So the CGI worked well in this movie, and added to the intensity of the moment. My favourite shot would probably be when the little girl was about to try and touch the monster. I found myself wondering if a child would be affected by a monster that shows people their biggest regrets in life. Yes, she had sadness because of Mallory's inability to act like a mother, but I kind of wanted to see what would happen if a child looked at it. In an earlier scene, when the children were born, they were in danger of being shown to the monster. Would a baby who's literally minutes old be affected? I kind of wished the movie had explored this idea. What about someone who didn't have regrets or sadness in their life? Would they be affected? What about sociopaths who are... Just more savage. Having the monsters affect people when they look at them means that they never actually show the monsters. Some may suggest that this is a cheap way of cutting costs and feel that they should show them. 
But on the other hand, some people may feel that by not showing them, it leaves the audience to use their imagination. And nothing is scarier than a person's own imagination. Adding to the audience's experience of the film by having it become personal to the individual viewer. This also ties in with the idea that each person who looked at the monster would see something that was relevant to them. So the monster would appear as something different each time, depending on who was looking at it. I personally think that sometimes leaving things open to ambiguity can be a good thing, if it's done right. And with this movie, I think it works. I think showing the monster would probably have just been disappointing and made it kind of cheesy. Howard Berger, the film's special effects makeup creator, released a pic of what the monster would have looked like for Mallory, and when you look at it, you can't argue that it was a good thing they didn't use it. Would I watch this movie again? Yeah, probably. If someone wanted to watch it and I happened to be there, I would sit down and watch it. But would I actively go out of my way to watch it again? Mm, probably not. It's a good movie. The acting is top quality, the visuals are great. The concept of being blindfolded is interesting, but in the end, it's an apocalypse movie that follows the same format as all other apocalypse movies. But anyway, that's all from Movie Review Monday for this week. If you like this, be sure to like, subscribe, comment and all that stuff, and check out some of my other movie reviews. But for now, let me know what you think of this movie in the comments, and I'll catch you next time. Bye!